on my mini liquid cooled computer. Um, you can hear it going crazy right now. I'm pushing a ton of air through there. It's because I have this hooked up to an external radiator. Um, fun fact, I almost blew this whole thing up a minute ago while trying to record a video. That's why there's so much air in there. Um, yeah, that's a long story, so we're gonna ignore that. That air will go away in a minute, but... Anyways, the purpose of this video is just to show how the whole loop order works in such a small case, um, especially with an external radiator. So those tubes in the back are carrying water and I'll pull you under the desk because I mounted the external radiator under the desk. Okay, I'm playing limbo here. So there you'll see the um, pump I've got, all the air because yeah, my, my incident. Um, then you've got the radiator. Anyway, it's just more surface area to help cool the water. So I'm gonna explain the loop order. So right under here is a pump. This is the Mod Ultra Lobo. It's on top of a 7800X3D. There's an EKDDC in there modded to run just off of one um, PWM fan header instead of the Molex and all that. So, oh my God, the air in there is so bad right now. Okay, hopefully that goes away. But anyway, so um, from the CPU, the water is pumped up and it goes to this cube. So from this cube, it'll go out. From this line, it'll go into the 420 millimeter radiator. It has three big fans in there. From that radiator, it'll come out and then into that pump right there. It's a D5 pump, it's a EK res. And then from that pump, it'll go up to that fitting you see up there. And then the water will come right back into the PC. So once it comes from this side, it's gonna come in to the graphics card. This is a 4080 Founders Edition with the Heat Killer 5 block on it. So that's gonna get cooled. Water's gonna come out. I've got a heat sensor probe in there just so I can keep track of the loop temperature. The water's gonna come up into the internal, um, I think it's just a slim XSPC radiator with two 120 millimeter Arctic fans in there. You could probably get a little bigger ones in there because I know there's a little bit of space, but whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, it comes out of that mini radiator and then back to the CPU and then that's a full loop. This error is atrocious. Okay, I'm gonna fix that now so we can keep going. Okay, we're back. I turned the flow rate down. That error should work itself out shortly now. I also popped the cap on the radiator to let some air out, so. Anyways, if we go over to fan control to check out where we're at. So I have three things hooked up here. The D5 pump. So the D5 pump is that guy. The Lobo is a Mod Ultra Lobo. That's that guy. It's a pump. So we got two pumps. And then the interior 120s, get that out of the way. Those are just these two fans. So that's three PWM headers I have on in there. So that leaves one thing left over, and that's these external fans. So I just leave those on this setting down here. This is just a cheap little power supply from Amazon. That's halfway between three and 12. That's good enough. It's under here, it's, it's pulling air down. So this gap is, this these 3D printed pieces are just to make the gap so these fans can pull air through this direction and from the opposite direction and pull it um, down to kind of cool the water through the radiator. Um, that works well enough. But um, yeah, so there's there were only three um, PWM headers in there. So I had to um, run some cables through here. This is the, the EK DDC. So this is the D5 pump. That comes, um, the, it's powered through here and then the PWM for that is right here. So anyways, all I need to control are the external pump, the internal pump, and that, uh, and these two fans here. So what I do is I leave the D5 at 70%, which is what, 30, 3,400 RPM. Don't know if that's a lot, but it's quiet. Doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna leave it as that. And then the low boy I put on 20%, because this thing is, is loud. I don't know if it's like the newer model or what, but it is crazy, stupid loud. So I turn it off because it pisses me off. Um, kind of want it to be silent. And, and when I run it like this, it is silent and the temperatures are insane. I mean, nothing ever really goes above 60 Celsius. 
The CPU will, it'll go up, it'll, it'll spike into the 70s and 80s. That's because it's a 7800XRD and that's just what it does. Um, it comes back down. It's really, if you guys want to see the specs, I, I can give them. But anyway, so I just want to show how the loop order works. Because when I wanted to build this, there were zero things on the internet about how to do it. Um, so I kind of had to makeshift all of this. Um, this is a one, two, three, four, five way plug right here and here is from alpha cool this is an extender so if you see this gap right here this is one fitting that i'm touching here this gap right here is for this tube this tube can kind of go in and out right and that screws on directly to this which is a check valve so um, water can go that way but water cannot go that way so that means if i pop these guys off water will go that way and it'll work and when i put these guys on the water will not accidentally go back and have backflow problems. It'll continue through the loop. I don't know if I already explained that, but you have it twice. And there it is. Here's a final form. Um, hope you guys like it. Um, it it pissed me off. I spent I spent probably an extra eight hundred dollars just trying to figure this out. So if anyone watches this and it saves you money, <laughs> there you go. It's worth it. So, anyways, thanks.